Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really awesome things that you can do on your iPhone that you probably didn't even know about. Now most of these will be new and exclusive to the new iOS 15 but there are a couple of things that you can do on older iOS versions as well. Now before we get into these hidden features and tricks make sure to smash the like button of this video. That's the trick to helping this video and this channel do much, much better. So I would really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video. Starting things off with the home screen. Let's say you want to move an app from the app library to the home screen. If you just drag the app like this, you can see it shows you a blank page. Then you will have to drag the app here and just place it anywhere you want on the home screen. But there is a very easy way to do that and actually place the app directly here on your page on the home screen not create a new blank page now all you have to do is just 3d touch on an app and wait for a second here and now it will just display it right there on the home page that you have of course with your apps and not create an extra new page on the home screen that's the easiest way to move any app from the app library to your home screen also when moving apps on different screens on your home screen you of course drag the app like this put it right there on the corner to move to another page now the correct way to do that is just drag the app and then just swipe like this to move the app anywhere you want with the other finger you don't actually need to place your app here or here and then move it around just swipe like this to move between pages and place it anywhere you want you probably have seen the new per app settings on iOS 15. It is a feature that allows you to set accessibility settings per app. So any app will have their own configuration of settings. Well, if you go on your settings and you go to per app setting and go to add a new app, you will see that right there at the top, you will actually have home screen. Now, of course, home screen is not an app, but this is for the home screen of your device. And you will be able to set settings for your home screen from here. So you go to home screen and choose any of the settings. So let's try something. Let's change the text maybe, and you will notice it. It will change right away on the home screen as well. Notice here the labels. And then of course we can add like bold text enable it from here you will notice even the clock right there on the status bar so just like that you can set different settings for the home screen of your device and have different ones on all the apps like reduced motion defaults we can turn it on so here we have now reduced motion on the home screen so it won't be on other apps just on the home screen of your device that's a new feature with ios 15 and it's pretty cool that you can actually set even settings for your home screen you probably know that on iOS 15, you can now adjust the time and date of pictures, but there is a very cool trick. Now, when you go to one of your pictures, you can swipe up and from here, you can adjust the time and the date of that picture. But what if you want to do that for a bunch of pictures that you have on your camera roll? You don't want to do that, of course, individually on each picture. All you have to do is just select right there and then just swipe like this to select the pictures to which you want to change the time and the date. And then tap the little share button and down here you will find adjust date and time. And from here you can go ahead and adjust the date and time of all these pictures together. Now what you can also do is just take a look at this button right here. You can also adjust the location of all of these pictures at the same time or if you if this pictures don't have location you can of course go ahead and add a location for all of them at the same time without having to do that individually for each of these photos with ios 15 if you go to automations you will have now some new options right here for your focuses so you can set different automations for when using one of your focuses so most of the time when playing games you might just like swipe up or down and get out of the game accidentally well what you can do with ios 15 go to automations go to gaming right here and then choose here when turning on click next and i can set here guided access start guided access just like that tap the next button disable this don't ask click done and I'm good to go. Whenever I start gaming, guided access will start automatically so I don't swipe up accidentally out of the game. The new live text feature of iOS 15 is very, very useful. 
And you can of course scan text like a bunch of text, but what if you don't actually need that whole text? So if I point my camera right there and tap here, it will actually scan that text completely. What if I need just a part of this? Now, even right here, you can actually go ahead and select the text that you want. So you can see it has scanned all that part of the text, but I only need this one, so I don't have to actually copy all that. All I have to do is just copy that part right there and I'm good to go. And even if you scan for links, just like this, you can see from the scan here from the camera, you can actually tap on that link to open it. And that of course is very, very useful and very simple to do at the same time. You will be able to open any link that you scan with a camera of your iPhone, of course, using the new live text feature. Next up, we're talking about printing and we have some very cool new features with iOS 15. So let's say here, I wanna print like a few screenshots. I tap right here on the share button and of course tap on print. Now what we get here with iOS 15 is of course a whole new look. You can see the preview is totally different from iOS 14, but now we can also select here the paper size. So whether in which type of paper, which size of paper you want to print, these screenshots in this case you can go ahead and choose right there the format and of course the size of the pages in which you want to print these screenshots or if you go to safari and you try to do that with the website so here we have a website if i just want to go ahead and print this tap on print right here now it will give me some extra options now here i have the preview of the website you can see is on portrait mode i can go to the landscape mode right there so you can choose in which mode you want to print a website if you want to do that then of course you will have the paper size as well and select the range of pages that you want to print from this website which is actually now turned into a pdf and you can print it from here but this is new the landscape and the portrait mode for printing on ios 15. and the cool new feature of printing on ios 15 is that if you try to print a pdf file now you will be able to actually print it with annotations as well so if you have a pdf that you have annotated you will be able to do that with printing on iOS 15. So just enable it from here and you will get your annotations on the print as well. This one will also work on older iOS versions as well. So if you have your iPhone on iOS 14, you will be able to use this hidden feature. So when you try to, to pin a conversation, of course you drag it like this and you place it right there at the top. And that's kind of hard to do of course you will have to drag and do all that but there's a very easy way now this is especially useful if you want to pin like a bunch of different conversations all you have to do is just tap the three dots right there and tap on edit pins and just like that you can tap here and add any conversation you want and of course simply tap the minus button right there to remove any conversation you want you don't have to drag them to pin and drag them to unpin this is the easiest way to pin your conversations and last but not least, we're going to the Files app. So did you know that on the Files app, you can now group files based on like different criteria. So if you use groups right there, you can change between types. You can also change between date and also size right here. But did you know that for another feature that we have on iOS 14 as well, and that's the ability to rearrange your file so if i go to size right there you can see what it will do it will basically rearrange them from the biggest file to the smallest file but if i do that again tap right there again you can see that little arrow changing right there now they will be rearranged from the smallest to the biggest so that's the way you can change the position of files and you can do that with all of these from the size to the date to the tags and of course the name as well so that's basically for this video guys these are some pretty cool useful features of your ios 15 device and as i said at the beginning a couple of those can be found on ios 14 as well these are awesome things that of course your device can do that you might not even know about. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.